Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect an extra section of tubes to your sensor in case you need to extend the length of its tubes. Usually you need that when you're installing one of our devices on a huge storage tank or a cistern. And I have to say that this method is applicable to both the wireless and wired sensors we manufacture. In order to connect the extra tubes to the tubes of your sensor, you need to use this type of connection. It's called Kale connection, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments to this video. Okay, so you take these two plugs and insert them into the internal tube that you are going to add to the sensor and be sure to apply some force but not too much of it in order not to shatter the tubes you don't want to break anything and the second plug goes into the internal tube of the sensor itself like this also apply some force here you need to plug them in as deep as possible but once again without shattering the tubes then you take this threaded stud or threaded rod as you prefer and screw it into the plugs first into the plug that is already inserted into the sensors in, in, uh, inner tube and then into the inner tube that you're going to add to your sensor it's always better if they touch each other but if there is some space between them no problem with that the sensor will still work but try to apply as much force as possible without once again breaking anything then you take this uh, fitting and the nuts you just need to screw the nuts in just a little bit to make them hold on hold on to the fitting um, without applying too much force and then you need to um, to connect another tube the external one this time and then put the fitting onto the tubes be sure to align the seam between two ex between the two external sections with the center of the fitting like this okay now just finish screwing the nuts in just but make sure that the external tubes are in contact that they touch each other inside the fitting like this they should be loose okay in order to make this connection secure you need to use the wrenches and apply some force once again otherwise the added section will not hold okay so i am going to show you just how it's done but i'm not going to apply too much force here just to give you some idea okay so this is actually clockwise like this you will probably need to apply a bit more force than I do, once again. And since you're going to calibrate the sensor, uh, you would like to, you would probably want to avoid the fuel dripping through any, any seams here. You don't want it trickling through this fitting. So you could actually apply some insulation tape to cover it and to prevent the fuel from escaping from the tubes because you're probably going to calibrate it by putting the sensor upside down, covering the drainage holes and filling the tubes with fuel to the brim. After you have calibrated the sensor, you can insert the centrator, but one more detail, and it is very important, you need to do this actually before calibrating the sensor. So in case one of the tubes overextends, you need to cut it. And then once again, uh, clean it of any irregularities, any metal barbs. After that, the sensor is ready to be installed 
and after it is installed you need to do the tank calibration 